Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back today to a future mobs Minecraft features video. At this current point, Minecraft 1.10 is already in development and I'm expecting the first snapshot in two to three weeks time. Now we've already had the announcement of some great features. We've had new blocks in the nether which have been confirmed and also recently polar bears. Now I am quite convinced the blocks in the nether were from a mod pack from Minecraft developers who make mod packs. And I'm also convinced the polar bears, Jeb got the idea from Mo Creatures. So today I've taken the time to install Mo Creatures and kind of discuss with you guys, which I want to see comments down below, on mobs we could possibly ex expect to see in the future of Minecraft. To be honest with you, Mo Creatures is probably one of the best mods ever to be created for Minecraft. And there are so many creatures in this mod that I would love to see in Minecraft. So let me know what you guys do think. I'll go over as many as I can. If you do want to see a second video on kind of weapons that we could expect to see in the future of Minecraft, be sure to thumbs up the video. At 800 likes, I will bring you a brand new episode. So anyway, I'm in a snow biome for a specific reason. If I type in bear and I grab in the bear spawn egg, here is the polar bear. Now if you go back to the snapshot or the screenshot I did show you earlier on, again I'm convinced Jeb got this idea from um, the creatures. This is a giant one. Now they will attack you, um, but Jeb said that they're neutral, meaning that they don't necessarily attack you upon seeing you, but they will attack you if provoked. And I'm curious to test these out in the first snapshot anyway. So I am convinced that Jeb got the idea of polar bears from this one. So we're expecting polar bears in Minecraft. However, let's take the time to go over a couple more mobs that we could possibly see in the future of Minecraft. Whether it's 1.10 or whether it's beyond, I have absolutely no idea. Now, I don't expect to see um, fish in Minecraft. I don't know why, I just can't see Jeb... Oh, they seem really, really angry. I can't see Jeb introducing them. Now, I feel that the Minecraft um, game in general, vanilla Minecraft, does need another type of uh, water mob, but more of a real mob. We have squids, we have the guardian, and that's pretty much it for these massive ocean worlds. I mean, I would say the majority of Minecraft worlds are ocean, but they're not really filled with anything sp spectacular. So we do have in this game, uh, which I, I'm not expecting to see, but we do have dolphins. Um, so I spawn a dolphin, as you guys can see, we do have a dolphin. I would love to see the introduction of dolphins and sharks, which we do have uh, sharks as well. We've also got a shark tooth, and we've also got a shark sword, which I'm not really going to go in in today's video, because it kind of makes it more like a, an adventure game. Um, but this is the shark itself. As you guys can see, this is the shark. Um, I, I can't see these being introduced either, but I do, I do want to see another underwater hostile mob which would be more real, more of a real mob. Like the Guardian isn't really a real mob, it's more of like a mythical mythical type of creature or myth creature type of thing. And I love these little fishes, they're, they're everywhere. I think we have fishes as well, so let's type in fish. We've got spawn, oh that's a silver fish. We've got fishy, jellyfish, and we've got medium fish. Oh, we've also got small fish. All right then, so let's take the time to spawn in some of these. Uh, let's spawn in these ones, which are the, obviously the tiny fish, there's a whole bunch of these. I'm guessing each biome will have different types of fish, by the way. Uh, we've got jellyfish. I think these would be a great thing to introduce to Minecraft. They, they look really odd to me. They just look like square floating blocks. We've got the medium. Uh, we've got small fish there as well. So again, I'm not expecting fish to be introduced in Minecraft just because I don't think it's something that Jeb would like to do. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of things that could possibly be introduced in Minecraft. I have some great creatures that I have found. This itself, and I think it might be like some type of raccoon thing. But let's go to the moat creatures itself because there's a bunch of spawn eggs in here or things we could possibly see in Minecraft in the future. So, something I really do like and I would love to see in Minecraft is called the Ent, I think it's called. I'm going to try and find a few guys. Now, going back to the older versions of Minecraft, Mo Creatures actually developed the horse. The horse spawn egg that we have in my hand right now was developed by Mo Creatures and Mojang, I wouldn't say bought it off Mo, off, off Dr. whatever his name is, Dr. Zark, I think it is. I don't think they bought the horse spawn egg off him, but they, they pretty much got permission from him to use it. Um, and they're in the game of Minecraft now, which is awesome. A developer who creates mods has his own feature in Minecraft, which is outstanding to me. I, you just can't top that at all. It must be the great experience for him ever. Um, so the fact that he has horses, I think he's happy anyway. But we've got more things in here. So we've got bunnies. He already had bunnies in his um, in his creation. They're not exactly the same. As you guys can see, they are different from the bunnies that we have in Minecraft. The ones we have in Minecraft now are a lot better than these ones because these just look like all fat monk, uh, uh, all fat bunnies. And I guess whatever biome you're in is the specifics of the color as well. So do bear that in mind. So uh, bunnies, 
We've got snakes, which I can't expect to see. Turtles would be a good thing. Birds, mouse, a turkey, a wild horse, and a horse mob. Now, snakes. The likelihood of seeing snakes in Minecraft, I, I really can't see snakes being introduced in Minecraft. I mean, they would be a great thing to have. And I think I've just been hit with some, yeah, I've been hit with poison. Obviously, it's a poison spawn. I think turtles would work well in Minecraft. But you gotta remember guys, when you're creating a mob in Minecraft, it's not just a mob you're creating. Yeah, the mob's in the game, but when you kill it, what does it do? When you kill it, what does it drop? When you kill it, what can you craft with it? And all these different type of um, things that go with it. It's, it's like the Guardian, when they created the Guardian, everyone was excited for it, but what does it do? What else can it can be brought with this actual um, mob? What is this? Birds, okay, okay. These are one of the best things. These are something I would love to see in Minecraft naturally. These could be the, the above ground bats, even though they're not bats, they're birds, because we have bats in case they do nothing. I would love to see birds in Minecraft, even if they didn't do anything at all. They would just be great to see on the, the tree, top, tree tops, just chopping, chirping away. Uh, we've got a mouse. I don't expect to see him. Turkey, no. Wild horse. Eh, seems pretty cool, the wild horse, actually. Um, and this one is horse spawn mob. Oh, okay, these are like the... the the undead horses. I've never seen the one that has wings though. That is absolutely incredible. That is absolutely amazing. I'm guessing he's linked for night time. Um, but that's just a bonus. Let's grab a little bit. Let's just check out a few more. Um, Mojang have a habit of introducing like mythical ones, so we could possibly see like the ogre in the future. Duck. We've already got we've already got a chicken slash duck. Anyway, I don't, can't be really see, see that being introduced. Um, we've got a big cat. I can't see them. Deer. No wolf. No. This is another mythical creature. We've got a flame wrath. Let's see if that will. Fox would be a good one. A werewolf, a shark, a dolphin, a fishy, kitty, rat, hell, scorpion, a crocodile. It's me. I think a crocodile would be so much fun. Um, jellyfish, goat, bee, fly, dragonfly. See, these would be good. These type of things would be good in the jungle because obviously jungles are well known for massive spiders. They're known for little insects and stuff like that. So they'd be good to just be just around there naturally. We've got a big on elephant. If an elephant was going to be introduced, I'm expecting it to be added to the likes of a savannah biome. There's something else I want to show you, like a Komodo dragon would be cool. Uh, what else is this? I have no idea what that is, but we're gonna, I'm going to grab this. Maggot, crab, ent. I'm going to go over the ents, because I think that would be a great addition as well. Mini golem, we've got, that's pretty much all the ones that we can see. So let's go over these last ones, so the ogre. The ogre, again, is a mythical creature. How would it work? Where would it be? Would it be under the in like a cave type area? We could possibly work in like a cave type area. I think that would be cool. Uh, here we've got a wrap. This guy is like a ghost type thing. Now talking about this, guys, if I go down here a little bit and just keep this hidden in the wall so it doesn't burn. If you look at the new skeleton screenshot uh, Jeb gave us on a new mob he's working on, it looks like the skeleton is wearing like the same costume as this. So maybe the skeleton's kind of like a ghost type thing. Uh, but you can see there, it's it's it's. I'm guessing it's gonna be very scary. We got a flame one here. This one's a flame one. I don't see the difference, but I'm guessing he has to come outside here. We've also got a crocodile. I mean, how would crocodiles work? Where would they spawn? In general, they would be a good a good thing to have. It's like me in my natural form. He's angry at me right there. Uh, a Komodo dragon. This would be great for a desert. This is. I have no idea what this is. It's like a a bug. And we've also got the ants. Now, to me. This would be a great type of mythical creature to be introduced. Now, the ent itself, you can't really beat it up. It just It's like a tree. Uh, the tree guys from Lord of the Rings, that's how they remind me. And these spawn in jungles. There's a different type of them. I've seen them spawn quite up in quite a lot of places. But these would be so fun if they were introduced in Minecraft. So, I thought I'd do a little bit of a video like this on mobs that we could possibly expect to see in the future. Maybe you guys have any, like, your own mob idea that you'd love to see in Minecraft. Not something that's I've shown today. Not something that's already in Minecraft. So, I thought... It's definitely worth discussing future things for Minecraft because mobs are always important. Maybe I can do a future video on like weapons to be introduced or like of houses to be introduced. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Take care. Stay beautiful. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.